y'all. I'm just going to start out by saying this. I'm super nervous about this video. I have tried to film it five times or six. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know why I'm so nervous, but it's not a typical video that I do. So I hope you enjoy it and let's get on with it. Hi, sunshines, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day and happy Vlogmas Day 8. So I'm a little bit bummed today. For those of you who don't know, I do help coach a special needs cheer team and they went to state today and um, they did amazing i was so happy but this week was our last practice and these girls are like my favorite people in the world to spend my life with i love them and i get to see them every monday but um now that practice is over i won't get to see them every week again until the fall i'm a little bit bummed this video is going to be sort of casual style i'm doing a q and a and so to be honest i don't even have matching clothes on i have these pants are from target a couple of years ago and this is a shirt I don't know, I think I might've got it from Stitch Fix. Anyway, I'm super comfy today. It's raining and very cold outside, so this is like my cozy in for the night <laughs> clothes. All right, so I asked on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, my community tab here on YouTube, for you guys to answer or ask me a bunch of questions and I would answer them. So I was overwhelmed <laughs> by the amount of questions that came through. So I just started writing down questions that I saw and this is what I have, hopefully, um, we'll have enough time to answer them. There were some questions that were like, can you tell me your whole life story from like childhood to now? <laughs> and I was like, I don't have really enough time to talk about that. But hopefully you'll get a little bit of glimpses into my life and we'll answer some of the questions. If this is a popular video and you wanna see more of it, I will definitely consider doing it again. But let's go ahead and get started, okay? So the first question was, do viewers make you feel pressured to keep buying? And this question was by Stephanie Music or Muzak. It, I'm just gonna say right now, if I butcher anybody's name, I am asking for forgiveness at the beginning of this because I, I may mis mispronounce some people's names and I just apologize. Okay, so do viewers make you feel pressured to keep buying? No. Uh, I think that the perception that you guys may have versus reality is uh, is gonna be totally different. Um, I think you guys see the boxes and the things that I buy and think all of that comes out of a pot of money. And, and some of it definitely does, but my channel is sort of self-sustaining. It, it I'm able to pay for everything within what my YouTube channel makes. Um, I also probably get four to six boxes for free a month to review, um, which is definitely helpful. Clothing videos, um, like I just had a $50 credit from um, Stitch Fix where people signed up using my link. Um, I think I have 75 or $100 on a future, future wantable box coming up. Um, Grove Collaborative, I've been very fortunate if you use my link to um, get some credit. So our household supplies, a lot of times we don't pay for, it doesn't come out of our budget. Um, so all those things sort of added up together. I don't think I spend nearly what you think that I do. It's a very small <laughs> portion. But again, my channel is sort of pays for itself. So it's just not like some pot of money that's coming out of my family's budget. It actually helps me. Matter of fact, on my last Natalie Attired video or the one before the last one, I actually used my link or Emma's link on that video and then she was able to get credit for her a box so it actually paid for my kid to get some clothes does that make sense so no i do not feel any pressure to try new boxes i'm an unboxing channel that is the job that is the function of this channel and so it's to show you and review boxes so it's not like i have this raging um shopaholic tendency it's just the function of this channel some people do vlogging channels so no i don't feel like any pressure i get the boxes that i want sometimes you guys ask me to do boxes and i'm like hmm, that doesn't really appeal to me or i don't think it's a good fit i do get asked to do i just got asked to do a box this week and i was like i just don't think again it's a good fit for my channel so i do turn things down but no i don't feel pressure at all to buy anything i buy sort of what i want and what is within my youtube budget that month um, the next question is by Susan Ackerman. It's how on earth do you keep all of your boxes straight? How do you know what is coming in and what to send back? So I just have a list every month. I just sit down and make a list because boxes do come and go of sort of what's coming in. And that helps me sort of schedule out when boxes are going to be unboxed during the month and filmed. Uh, if I have any boxes that have to send back like rocks box or any of my clothing boxes, literally almost directly after the video, I box them up 
up and I stick them by my bedroom door and my husband takes them back. He has no problem. Several times a week, he just runs by the post office and drops them off. So we're a good team in that way. I don't want them sitting around. He doesn't want them charged to my credit card. And so if I just bag them up and stick them there, he takes them to the post office. So it's really, really not hard um, to keep everything straight. It's pretty easy. It's sort of, again, it's like my job. This channel is becoming more of a job for me and so I just have to keep it all straight. The harder thing for me is I'm not a big um, email girl or or texting girl. So now that I'm having to work with companies and talk with companies about things, that's the part that is hard for me is keeping up with all of that. Okay, the next question is, your what are your favorite YouTube channels? And this, this was question, question was asked by Kat Mellon. And um, so I like a lot of vlogging channels. I originally thought this channel would be a vlogging channel and it just didn't end up working out that way. But um, I love this gathered nest. Phil and Alex as a favorite channel. Micah Stoffer, and then they also have a channel called The Stoffer Life. Um, I love just Anne and Abadabs are some of my favorites. Brittany Boren Leach. Uh, Florida Force was probably the first YouTuber that I absolutely fell in love with. Yvette, the Yvette Renee, I love her. There's so many, you guys. I try and tell you in different videos, like go check out this channel um, because I want to share them with you. So those are some of my favorites. Um, Nan P. asked, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have a brother. He lives in Orlando and he is one of the fire chiefs in Orlando. He actually handles all the like um, major crises that happen if there's any kind of threat or hurricane or anything. Like he's the man in charge. He's also the man that's the first one in when they had the um, hurricanes in Texas and in the panhandle of Florida, he's right there. He's awesome. Um, Lisa Smith asked, asked a million questions, so thank you, Lisa, but I, I only picked a few. She said, what's your favorite food? Tacos, 100% tacos. My favorite quote is, feed me tacos and tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> My dream collab, and this one was a hard one for me. I, I struggle with collabs. Almost every collab that I've ever done, um, I've reached out to them. I've reached out to one person and she totally like blew me off. And so, um, that kind of stung a little bit. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm funny about asking people to do collabs. I have been doing them a little bit more lately, but I definitely, um, I don't know that I'd want to do a collab with like a huge, huge YouTuber, but I would think like, like I said, just Anne or Abadabs, I think those would be really fun people to do collabs with. Like their channels are both like super taking off. So I'd never want to ask them. I try to ask people that have like fewer subscribers or about the same number of subscribers as I do um, because I wouldn't want them to feel like I was taking advantage. I don't know, it feels weird to ask for, for collabs. Um, what are the top three things I've gotten from sub boxes? I have a pair of Kinsey jeans from Wantable that I absolutely adore. Um, my power necklace, a lot of you will know, I just wore it a couple of days ago. I had a blue cardigan on and this big thick blue necklace. That's what I call my power necklace. I got that from Roxbox last year. And then I have a long maroon cardigan. I actually showed this one in a recent video too. That's maroon with a hood and it's one of my favorite pieces. Um, okay, that, let's see. Okay, Suze Hammer said, a lot of people ask this question. I, I don't remember if I already said this, but I just took, if I saw multiple of the same question, I just took it from the first person that I saw. So it says, what does your husband do? He actually is a writer. He writes about social security, which is a very boring in my opinion, <laughs> but he also um, is in the credit decisioning software business. Okay, um, Kim Arnold asked, how did I get started on YouTube and what are the pros and cons? So literally, I sort of discovered YouTube and for a couple of years, I'm sorry I keep playing with my hair, you guys, It's I'm growing it out and I like it and I haven't had to cut it, I haven't had a haircut in quite a while and all of a sudden it's like, whew, helmet head and it's driving me a little bit crazy so I've gotta try and get in and get it cut. Um, this week. So I'm just going to tuck up behind my ears. So I was watching YouTube videos for a couple of years and just kept thinking, I loved haul videos. I loved watching unboxings. I loved watching um, vloggers. And finally, I just said, I'm going to try this. And I told this story before on my channel and I asked my husband for a vlogging camera for Christmas and Christmas morning came and it didn't happen. And I was pissed. <laughs> I was mad. I'm just gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, I was really mad. I was really mad. And uh, in his defense, 
I'm not dogging my husband. I think he thought maybe it was just like a fly by night thing that I wasn't gonna stick with. And so in January, I just was like, I'm buying this camera and I bought it. And the funny thing is I still to this day film on my iPhone and I have that vlogging camera that I hardly ever pull out of the box. Uh, yeah, funny story. Pros and cons. I think the pros and cons are the same thing. The pros are you guys and the cons can sometimes be you guys. <laughs> 99% of you are not the cons. There is every once in a while just someone who gets nasty and you know people will say don't let that affect you but it's hard not to sometimes. It's hard not to take things personally and sometimes I do react in the comments and then I think I shouldn't probably have said that or I, it, that probably sounded snarky um, but it's just the nature of YouTube. Um, I don't know. It, it just is the nature. I think the question about do I feel pressure to buying, she said she didn't want to like it because, didn't want to like the the video because she didn't want to, me to feel like I was getting, have to get more and more boxes, which is not the case at all. Um, you know, thumbs up and thumbs down, I don't really even look at. They work the same way in terms of engagement in your channel. The more engagement you have, whether it's a comment, a thumbs up or a thumbs down, raises the ranks of how many people will see your videos in the suggested videos. So thumbs up or thumbs down doesn't bother me at all. I, again, I don't really look at them. Um, what else? Let's see. What do I use to film? I use my iPhone. The iPhone 7 had a really good camera. I now have an iPhone 8, which has a great camera. And um, what software do I use for editing? I just use Movie Maker, so easy. Tips for starting a channel. Just do it, just do it. Um, you know, like I was saying earlier, I, I really just was watching the ch channels and thought I could do it. And uh, we were literally in a hotel room in St. Louis for a hockey tournament. The boys had left early and my daughter and myself were in a hotel room and I filmed my very first video in that hotel room. And I was scared to death to put it up. And number one, I was scared nobody was gonna watch it. And number two, I was scared that somebody was gonna watch it. <laughs> and um. I just loved it and I kept going and it feels like I'm decent at it. It's something that I feel like I do a decent job on. Could I get better? Yes, but I, I enjoy it. And so any tips that I have would just be to just to find your niche. I feel like there's a lot of people that are coming on the market that are doing unboxings. I feel like there's several people right now that are doing the same thing that I did last year or doing this year and I'm like, be original. I know not everybody, it's hard to be original, but find your niche and find the thing that you love and I think it will work for you. And just keep going. You're gonna get better and better every time. That's my best tip. Um, that was from Teresa Kramer. Um, Bridget C asked, where have you traveled within the US and abroad? I've been to France and I've been to Belgium and um, I love Belgium, it's one of my favorite places. Um, I've been to New York, California, Texas, a lot of the states in the South. Um, I haven't done a lot of like the Northeast or the middle of the country, so I would like to do that in the US. Um, places that I'd like to visit, or there's a bucket list. Steph Gray asked my bucket list travel items or just bucket list items in general. And um, so I said I will, would love to travel. I would love to go on safari in um, Africa somewhere. I would love to go to China, um, Australia. My husband's traveled everywhere before we got married. He traveled, um, all the time like if we got married earlier than we did i don't think we would have made it he was on the road all the time with his job all the time in all all kinds of different countries and uh he loves new zealand his best friend lives in australia and he's trying to get us to come over but he thinks new zealand is like the most beautiful place ever so i would like to go there um one of the weird things that i think that i would like to do is get in one of those cages and like go on a shark dive i think that would be fun um and I'd also like to go on a mission trip with Operation Christmas Child. They do the Christmas boxes. I think that would be really interesting. Um, so those are some bucket list items. Um, how did I meet my husband? I met him online, believe it or not. I lived in Monroe, Louisiana for a couple of years and ended up moving with my job to Atlanta. And I was dating a guy that I really thought I loved and he was supposed to move 
within a few months after I did and he didn't. And um, so I wasn't really looking, I didn't know many people, I wasn't really looking for a boyfriend, but I loved hockey and I wanted to um, go to games. We had, a Atlanta had a hockey team at that time and just hang out. And um, so when I was, I met him on YouTube, actually, or not YouTube, Yahoo Personals. Um, this was before they had all the dating apps and everything, this was, 18 years ago probably. And so when you would put your profile up, immediately you would get like 200 people, 200 guys that were responding to you. And so it's very overwhelming and so you sort of have to weed out very quickly who you wanna try and meet or go out with and who you didn't. And I, and I didn't remember his first email, but his, he sent me a second email like two weeks later and he's like, I love your profile, it's too good. I just had to give you one more, like not give you one more shot, but try to um, reach out to you one more time um, because I think it would be fun to go hang out. And so we did, we went and met at a sports bar. It was a Stanley Cup playoffs and just ate like chicken wings and met and um, we progressed pretty quickly, pretty quickly. <laughs> Um, it started out as just friendship and going to hockey games and um, and it just went from there so that was that's how I met my husband um, let's see what's your favorite meal and somebody asked what's your favorite restaurant this one is from uh, Purdy baby asked my favorite meal I love chicken and dumplings my favorite meal hands down my mom's or my grandma's chicken and dumplings I can make them too I don't make them super often but I love them and my favorite restaurant is don't laugh because this just sounds like I'm a hick but I love Cracker Barrel <laughs> my husband will not eat at any well he will eat but he does not like to eat at any franchised restaurant so before we got married there was a few rules before we got married like silly rules and one of them was he had to take me to Cracker Barrel once a year so each year in my stocking he gives me a Cracker Barrel gift card <laughs> and that is my like date to go to Cracker Barrel but I love their um, country fried steak and their pot roast is so yummy. Um, what's my favorite fragrance? I love the Elizabeth and James Nirvana black and white. So the black is like a muskier night scent and the white is like a floral day scent. So you can wear them individually, but if you put them together, if you spray them both on, mwah, they smell maze balls, and they're my absolute favorite um, scents to wear. Violet Rose asked that question. Um, Petra M said, who is someone I look up to and why? Um, this person is deceased, but I really like Corey Ten Boom. So her family, I think they're from Holland. Is that right? I think they're from Holland. And her father owned a watch shop, watch repair shop, I think. And um, they actually hid Jewish people from the Nazis and they ended up getting caught and sent to concentration camps. And she, her stories are amazing. Her stories are, she just has a heart for God. And um, how they smuggled in a Bible into the concentration camp will give you goosebumps. I read her book, Tramp for the Lord, every year it's so inspirational but I really look up to her and her she was speaking later after she got out of the concentration camp and all of her family was killed in the concentration camp she was the only one and she met one of the like meanest like guards in the concentration camp at one of um, the meetings she was speaking at and her ability to be able to forgive was just amazing so she's one of the people I look up to and if you haven't ever read that book you need to go read it. It's really good. Um, why don't we see your husband or son? I want 1203 asked that on Instagram. Um, my husband does, is shy. He does not want to be on camera. He's been on camera before. I think we did like a forced family fun day video where we went to the fair and you kind of saw him a little bit. Um, there are sort of vlogging type videos where you might see glances of him, but he just doesn't want to be on camera. And then my son, um, he was on camera a lot in the beginning of YouTube, but I feel like um, at first my kids were really excited about me being on YouTube and they would tell their friends, but I think he had a little bit of, not people making fun of him, but a lot of people saying like, oh, was your mom gonna do a video on that? I don't know, I think he got a little bit of ribbing. So we were supposed to do a video, the love with food box, we were supposed to do together. I actually got that for three months and finally the third month, I was like, what's up buddy? Are we gonna do this video? And he finally said, I just don't wanna be on camera. 
not a problem. I will never ask my kids or my husband or anybody to be on camera that, that doesn't want to. That's not a problem for me at all. You know, with Emma, I have to ask her at the right time. She's super shy. And so we do have a video planned that she actually, well, it's one we've been kicking around, but she actually brought it up again. And so hopefully for Vlogmas, you will see a funny video that we're going to do where she teaches me how to do something. So <laughs> stay tuned for that because I think it will be fun, but I just have to, it'll probably be closer to like Christmas break when she's off. All right. The next thing is, have you ever worked outside of the home? I've worked outside of the home since I was probably 12. I started babysitting. I used to babysit so much that I couldn't, people would not give my phone number to their friends because I was booked up all the time. When I was 16, my parents did buy a car for me and I had to pay for everything else, the insurance, the tires, the gas, everything. And so my very first job was Burger King. <laughs> I have told my husband, they have to, my, not my husband, my children, they have to work retail, fast food, or some kind of waitressing because you need to work with the public because then you know how to treat the public because people treat those people that work in the service industry like crapola. <laughs> but that was my first job. And um, I actually worked at Claire's Boutique for like seven years um all through college and after um just because i had to work through college so that was sort of fun i also worked for the walt disney company for 10 years if we ever moved back to florida i've told my husband he would be a disney widow <laughs> because i love disney it's such a great company i actually won an award called the disney spirit award only the top one person of the company wins and it just you just are ex have the qualities and work ethic that they expect um, and so that was a really really big honor that I won I'm just a big huge Disney fan um, let's see smooch the cook asked does your husband watch your videos no he does not um, his office is right off of our bedroom and he can't be in there like if he works from home I'm like you gotta go gotta go <laughs> so if it's going to be a filming day a lot of times I will try and film two or three videos in the same day I just let him know hey don't be home today <laughs> because even if he's in the next room I can't stand when I'm filming I can't stand for him to listen but I don't mind if he watches after I've already filmed it and put it up anybody can watch but when I'm filming I don't like it but I don't think he watches them he knows the videos that I'm going to to do he will give me content ideas um, but I'm not sure many people in my family actually watch my videos my mom does occasionally she'll say I miss your face I watched one of your videos today <laughs> I don't know if she's even subscribed, so that's that. Um, Teresa Morgan asks, what's your next big house project? I really wanna redo, not redo, but like paint my living room. My living room is this really pretty, I actually still love the color, golden -y mustard color. It's sort of a dated color. I'd like to get a new rug in there and um, just do new blinds in my house and new windows. So I'm hoping that if I can continue to grow my channel with YouTube, that some of that will, can actually come out of my YouTube budget and on our family budget and we'll be able to do more house type projects. Let's see. Um, the Robin Nest asked, are you gonna do a teenage stocking stuffer edition video? I've had several people ask this in comments and in this question and answer. I wasn't planning to, but I will see if I can put something together. To be perfectly honest, if you see me back there, this is Lucy. You don't see her in my videos. Where's my finger? Right there, right there. Um, <laughs> you don't see her in my videos a lot. She typically stays downstairs or stays in my son's room. She's a little bit of a mean girl but we love her. Um, okay, let's see, where was I? So I will try and put something together. To be honest, I'm having trouble with my teenagers giving me any ideas. So if I can come up with some things, I will do a video, but no promises. But if I can think of some stuff, I'll try and do one. Um, Ranalyn Nyapo asked, if you could only get one sub box, which would it be? Probably Rocks Box, it's, it's one of my favorites. Or Pop Sugar, oh I forgot about Pop Sugar. Probably Pop Sugar, <laughs> cause you get a little bit of everything. I love that box. Um, do you have a musical background? Somebody said that I sing a lot in my videos. No, I just have a really weird brain that anything musical just kind of sticks in my head. Um, I was singing a like commercial from 20 years ago uh, that was on MTV the other day. My husband's like, what are you doing? My people think I'm crazy, but um, that's just how my brain works. I just sing. Uh, I don't have any kind of background or anything. I don't have a great voice. So I'm sorry when I sing 
you weren't complaining, but I, I it's just the way my brain works. Um, okay, she, somebody said, I, I kind of paraphrased, um, how do you put together an outfit when you're going to teen events? So when I put together an outfit, I try and just, um, I either have a mom uniform, a white t-shirt with cardigan, cute pair of jeans and booties, and a cute necklace, or I try and look for like a statement piece. So it might be a statement necklace, or it might be a top with a fun print, or like a bell sleeve, or it might be a really cute pair of like, I just bought those leopard tennis shoes from Target, which are adorable. I tried that hat, you guys, nobody was digging it. <laughs> Sometimes you put things up and they don't work. But I just try and just stick with basic pieces, a nice pair of skinny jeans or straight leg jeans, a pair of booties in the summer. Um, a lot of times I'll just wear khaki shorts and a cute top, but I try and get something that's a little bit of a statement piece, whether it's a necklace or a fun print or a cute bag, because I think that just like ties yourself together. Jewelry is definitely a big one. I think people forget about jewelry and they can that can really up your your clothing your your look you know what i mean just a, a simple necklace or something really elevates your look okay what is next um okay this one was what's your life story married kids wedding etc yes i did have a wedding i have two children i've been married for 17 years um i can't really tell my life story because it's already 26 minutes in and i do not like long videos so this is giving me hives um my next question is i love this question gina swepe she said who's your favorite couponer you of course Gina has a coupon coupon channel, so go check her out, Gina Swepe. Um, DK Girl said, show us your closet. I'm gonna show you my closet. I had a lot of questions about that. It's coming. Um, my closet's not that big. When you guys see it, you're gonna be like, oh, it's not a walk-in closet. It's just like a closet. It's a regular closet. I'll show you all about it soon. Just stay tuned. Um, Abadabs, oh my gosh, I love your, the fact that she even asked a question, I was like, oh my gosh, she asked me a question. Um, she said, favorite thing about being a creator on YouTube, it's you guys, absolutely. I love getting in the comments. I hee-haw at the comments all the time. I just think you guys are amazing and so incredibly funny. I actually like the relationships that I've started making behind the scenes with other YouTubers. I've sort of started trying to have a network behind the scenes where um, I think if you don't do YouTube, you don't understand it. You don't understand. There's a whole side of it that I even try and explain to my husband and they don't get it. So I do have people that I can vent to, not in a bad way, but a, a little while ago, I felt like I wanted to do something different with my channel. I was just feeling um, like it was getting stale. People that I can go to and really talk things through with and I really appreciate that. So that's been a fun part too, is learning about new people. Um, what else did she ask? What do your kids think about being on YouTube? So that's an interesting question too. So I told you my son was like, kind of got ribbed a little bit. They're in a new school this year. It's the first time my kids have been in public school. And I don't think any of his current new friends know that I do YouTube, but they definitely, I've said before, do you want me to stop doing YouTube? And both of them, I've asked them multiple times, you could ask them yourselves. And they have all said, no, we don't want you to do, stop doing YouTube. We know that you love it. It's fun for you. You're doing great with it. So um, they, they like it. They like the perks. Emma absolutely gets a ton of makeup. Like I said, um, I used my link for her or her link on a video for me and she got some new clothes the other day. So she definitely gets perks, which are great. Um, Dawson, when we went back to school shopping, like we had sort of a budget of what we were going to buy. And I mean, he had grown and was out of everything. I'm talking underwear, socks, sneakers, pants, shirts, like he needed everything. So we had to fit it all into a, a small budget and he really wanted a second pair of shoes that were like really nice expensive shoes. And I was able to say, okay, you know what? I have some extra YouTube money. I'm gonna buy you these shoes. And so that kind of felt good to me as a mom because I was able to like treat him to something. So they definitely see the perks, but they, they don't mind that I do it, they like it. Um, Sherry Smith Tarver said, did you go to college? Yes, I went to the University of Tennessee. If you're a Peyton Manning fan, he was in, at UT the same time that I was. Um, Becky Atwood said, um, what made you start a YouTube channel? I just really wanted to. <laughs> I was watching the videos and thought, I think I can do this. And, um, and just 
put the video up and, and started getting people commenting and was getting positive results and really enjoyed it. It was something that I could do just for me. As my kids were growing older, I wanted something that was mine. I volunteer a lot. I don't talk about that a lot on this channel. I talk about the little cheer team, but none of the other stuff that I do I really talk about. Um, so I give a lot of myself, but this was one way that was just something for me. And so that is why I started it. Um, have I always been so positive? I talked about working. Yes, yes, I think I have always been pretty positive. I have a parent, and I'm not throwing this parent under the bus, but that parent particularly was very intense and majored on minor things. And I feel like I learned from that, again, not not bashing that parent, not a bad parent at all, but I think I learned from that that you, there's stuff that if it's not going to matter next week or next month, then don't freak out about it. You know, if a glass breaks, it's not that big of a deal. If a kid spills a glass of milk, then you clean it up and get a new one. It's not that big of a deal. Do you know what I mean? And I will say that I have trouble sometimes within my own family giving grace where I can give everybody grace outside my family. So that is one of the things that I'm working on now. But I did work for the Disney store, the Disney company for 10 years. Um, I worked on the retail side and um, that sort of helps you when you're around that cheery music. People are happy when they're in the happiest place on earth, right? And so I think that definitely helped too. I just like um, helping people and making people smile and building relationships. So I, I have always sort of been a glass half full type of girl. Um, Christy Boyer asked, where do you keep all your clothes and do you wear them all? I'm telling you, I'm going to do the video. You're going to see my closet's not that big. And yes, I pretty much wear them all. When I do the closet video, it's going to be a closet clean out, kind of show you what my closet looks like before. And then we're going to do a little bit of a clean out. I'm a little bit nervous about that video because I'm not sure if my phone's going to film that video correctly. So I might actually have to get the vlogging camera out and figure out how to work it and all that. So that's what's taken so long. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> um, Julie Reitman said, um, oh, how did I end up on Surprise by Design? So if you don't know, there was a show years ago called Surprise by Design. And it was one of those shows where you came home from work and they had redone a, a room in your house. So it was coming up on my first anniversary. We got married in May and pregnant in July. I was not supposed to be able to get pregnant that easily. I was supposed to need help and boom, apparently I was fertile myrtle and the doctors were all wrong. The first time and the second time. <laughs> anyway, um, I was like seven and a half months pregnant and I lost 11 pounds when I carried my daughter. I was sick the entire time. I went to work and I was literally in just a white t-shirt and jeans and I was going to write employee reviews. <laughs> and um, I should have known what was going on there were signs, but I just, I just didn't. Um, my husband had written a letter. A lot of the furniture when we got married was like antique furniture from dead relatives <laughs> on his side of the family. A lot of it needed to be redone. A lot of it was not my style. Um, and he felt, I think he felt a little bit bad. Like we had recovered some things, reupholstered some things, um, but he wanted me to have a space that was my own. And so he wrote into Surprise by Design and kind of shared this and talked about our, how we met. And it was the sweetest letter that he wrote. And um, so sure enough, went off to work. You can see me, I'm like, I mean, I look like the snake that swallowed the grape because I just was so skinny. I was so sick and uh, off to work I went and my mom actually came to town because my baby shower was the next day. So it was perfect guys. She helped them and uh, I walked into my house and they had changed my whole room. It was chocolate brown walls with lime green polka dots. <laughs> it was one of those crazy rooms and people that saw the, the video were like, how did you not freak out? And I was like, first of all, my husband wrote this sweet letter. Second of all, it's paint. We can fix it. I mean, it was crazy. It was more than just chocolate brown walls and lime green polka dots. But you know, in the grand scheme of life, it was it was a fun experience that we still have that we can tell our kids about. Um, let's see. I'm almost done. Katie Littleton said, "What TV shows do you watch? Don't judge me, cause I it's judge worthy. I love all the housewives. I just love them. I don't have, I love them all. I just I don't. There's not one that I don't watch. I love the Jersey Shore." Don't laugh and don't make fun. I love The Little Couple. I love Murphy Brown coming back. I love American Housewife. Um, 
I don't know, I like a lot of reality television and a lot of Netflix shows. <laughs> Somebody asked where the decor in my room is from. I have it all linked below. The bedding came from Bed Bath & Beyond. The red pillow and the striped pillow um, and the striped sheets came from Target. The gray pom-pom pillow is not linked below because I couldn't find them and I got it at JCPenney. Um, let's see. April King asked, what are my favorite flowers? I love calla lilies, I love poppies, and I like hydrangeas. Mary Tuli, Tulila asked, um, what was my first YouTube experience? I don't know if she meant like my first uploading experience or my first experience watching YouTube, but my first experience watching YouTube was Florida Force, I think. I still watch her channel and love her. Um, Gloria Panhurst, Panhorst said, what is your clothing budget? I don't really have one. Again, um, my YouTube money varies from month to month. Um, one month it'll be a hundred dollars over it was the last month up or down or it could be you know i could just grow depending on what it was um and so it just depends on how the numbers fall for that previous month's paycheck um mary dubia said how do you store your makeup i'm going to do a video on that i did a video on that um, last year I have a storage bin system but because I had that question so much I'm going to do that video in January I think I, there's one more question or two more Sonia Durkee asked um, do you know any advent calendars for boys I did not find any for my 14 year old boy there are like Lego ones but um, I just bought him a red mailbox from Target and I put a little gift inside like Today he got like a 99 cent box of Skittles or he got his favorite body wash or what's some other things I put in there. Um, I don't know, I can't remember. A lot of candy and stuff that I just threw in there. And then my favorite Christmas memory is probably every year, every other year we go down to Callaway Gardens and they're one of the largest like Southern light shows and you drive, you get in on like a trolley and you cover up with the blankets and they, it sounds like you're in a ho on a horse and you sing Christmas songs and it's like an hour to drive through the whole thing and it's so fun and we just love it. Okay, so now we're at 36 minutes, which makes me have hives <laughs> that I did a video this long, but y'all had so many questions. I hope you liked this video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Christy, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 9. Bye-bye.